Selma Lagerlof was born in Varmland County, Sweden. Daughter of a serviceman, Selma began her professional career as a teacher and took up writing as a side job before becoming a full-time writer. She was the first woman to receive the Nobel Prize in Literature and the first woman to be depicted on a Swedish banknote. Lagerlof's best-known work is a children's geography book called The Wonderful Adventures of Niels. Her other famous works include Gosta Berling's Saga, The Miracles of Antichrist and The Outcast. Lagerlof often drew inspiration from folk tales and legends of her home district. Many of her works are also known for their realistic portrayal of life in 19th century Sweden. They frequently reflect a belief in the innate goodness of human beings. The Rat Trap is a captivating short story about an old ragtag peddler who is unable to sustain himself by selling rat traps and often resorts to stealing. A gift of love and compassion by a young woman changes his bitter outlook towards life and restores his faith in humanity and good deeds. Through the story, the author explains how small acts of love, kindness and understanding can have a powerful and lasting effect on a human being. Here is a summary of the story, The Rat Trap. Once there was a tramp who made and sold small wire rat traps. Selling rat traps, however, was not profitable, and so he also stole to have enough to eat and stay alive. One day, a thought crossed his mind that the world was little more than a bait set to draw people to their own destruction. The tramp, who had always been ill-treated by the world, found great amusement in this thought. One evening, the tramp knocked on the door of a little cottage, hoping for a chance to rest for the night. The lonely crofter who lived there welcomed the tramp, offering him a hot meal and tobacco. They spent the evening talking and playing Mulis, a card game. The crofter confided in the tramp about how he earned money and where he kept it. The next morning, the tramp and the crofter left the house together. The tramp bid farewell and went his way, only to return half an hour later. He smashed a window pane and stole the crofter's money. Smug and with his pocket full of money, the tramp decided to walk through the forest to avoid being caught. His joy, however, was short-lived as he got lost in the forest. As he wandered in the forest, looking for a way out, he realized that he too had allowed himself to be fooled by bait. Darkness fell and the tramp sank to the ground in despair. Just then, he heard the sound of hammer strokes from a nearby iron mill and stumbled in the direction of the sound. He reached Ramsio Iron Works and asked the master smith for a night's shelter. The blacksmith, used to such requests, nodded his agreement after a casual and indifferent glance at the tramp. Later that night, the owner of the mill, the iron master, arrived at the factory for his nightly inspection. He mistook the tramp for an old acquaintance from the army. The tramp hoping to extract some cash from the ironmaster, thought it wise not to reveal his true identity. Things, though, got somewhat unpleasant for the tramp, as the ironmaster insisted on taking him home, which the tramp flatly refused. The ironmaster gave in then, but sent his daughter, Edla, to persuade the tramp. Edla's friendly manner caused the tramp to change his mind, and he went with her. At the house, the tramp was given a haircut, shave, bath and a pair of freshly pressed clothes. The ironmaster looked at the clean tramp and realized his mistake. He wanted to call the sheriff but finally refrained from it after the tramp convinced him that the world is a rat trap and the ironmaster himself might one day get ensnared in the trap. The ironmaster, though amused, asked the tramp to leave at once. However, 
Edla convinced her father to let the poor tramp spend Christmas with them. The tramp spent Christmas Eve doing little else other than eating and sleeping. The next day at church, the ironmaster and Edla came to know that the tramp had stolen thirty krona from the poor crofter. Fearing the worst, father and daughter returned home only to find the tramp gone. He had left a rat trap and a letter for the girl. In the rat trap were the three ten kroner notes of the crofter. In the note, the tramp expressed his desire to reciprocate Edla's kindness and asked her to return the money to the poor crofter. He also said that the rat trap was a Christmas present for her. Because she treated him as if he were a real captain, he was able to escape the world's rat trap. The main characters in the story, The Rat Trap, are the Tramp, Edla the Iron Master's daughter, and the Iron Master. Click each label to know more about the characters. The Tramp, who is a peddler of rat traps, is the central character in the story. He is a poor vagabond with clothes that are little more than rags and hunger that shows both in his eyes and cheeks. He resorts to thievery when driven by hunger. The tramp is a bitter man who hates the world which has never treated him well. His bitterness is evident from the fact that his cherished pastime is thinking of people who were ensnared by life's rat trap. The tramp is always on the lookout for money or comfort. This is reflected in his action of stealing the lonely crofter's money. But the tramp also shows that he is capable of changing his ways. When the Iron Master's daughter treats him with kindness. He overcomes his bitterness and leaves a rat trap as a present for the girl and returns the money that he had stolen from the crofter. Edla Wilmanson, the Iron Master's daughter, is not very attractive but is truly compassionate. Despite his initial reluctance, the peddler decides to go to her home with her as she radiated a sense of kindness non-judgment and compassion. Her most compassionate act is that of letting the tramp stay, even after discovering that he is not the Iron Master's friend. This act of hers eventually transforms the tramp. She is also more perceptive than her father. On seeing the fear in the peddler's eyes, she quickly concludes that he stole something or is running from the law. The Iron Master is the ambitious owner of Ramsio Iron Works. He keeps a close tab on the work at the factory since he strongly desires to make the best quality iron. The Iron Master is strong-willed and does not give up easily. When the peddler refuses his invitation, he tries several times to convince the tramp. Even though he acts as though he gave in to the tramp, he actually does not. In fact, he sends his daughter to persuade the tramp. The Iron Master has a sense of humor. He laughs heartily at the peddlers ranting about the world as a rat trap and the Iron Master's likelihood of falling into one. Now let us examine the story closely. The rat trap is set in Sweden in the backdrop of iron mills. These mills play an important part in the history of the country. The incidents of the story occur around Christmas time in December in the depths of a cold and harsh winter which beautifully contrasts with Edla's warm and loving nature. The central theme of the story is the power of good acts, compassion and kindness to bring out the natural goodness in human beings. The compassion, kindness and human consideration shown to the tramp by the Iron Master's daughter results in the tramp regretting his actions. He returns the money he had stolen from the crofter because he does not want to be thought of as a thief. Another important theme of the story is that human beings succumb to temptation and find themselves trapped by their desire for materialistic possessions. These possessions entrap people just as a rat trap captures rats using pork and cheese. 
we see an example of the consequences of succumbing to temptation when the tramp steals the innocent crofter's hard-earned money. He had expected to be happy about finally having some money, but actually loses his peace of mind. The story also highlights the economic gap between the rich and the less fortunate in the society. It demonstrates very clearly how poverty can make people desperate. The tramp tries to make his living by selling rat traps, but has to steal just to stay alive. Also, Edla speaks of the suspicion with which poor tramps are treated. Wherever they go, they are chased away, and they are always afraid of being arrested and cross-examined. Loneliness is a theme that runs through the story. The tramp is essentially lonely, as he is constantly on the move, travelling aimlessly without friends or family. He is always chased away or running away. The other lonely character is the crofter, who has neither wife nor child. The crofter's loneliness makes him talk and confide in the tramp, and share more than he should have. The story is written like a fairy tale, with the setting around Christmas and a character in need of redemption. At the end of the story, the tramp, who had been dishonest, changes his ways and atones his wrongs once he is treated with charity and compassion. Like a fairy tale, the story makes use of metaphors to convey specific messages. The most important metaphor is the metaphor of the rat trap, which is also the title of the story. Another metaphor is the forest in which the tramp gets lost, which indicates how he has lost his way in the world by stealing even from a poor crofter.